Manifest on Purpose. My name is Kimberly Williams. I am a mindset consultant specializing in manifestation. I help you align your mindset with the things that you desire in your life to help you manifest in your life. So what are you waiting for? Come on, let's go. Let's manifest on purpose. There are many paths on the journey, but only one destination. Which path to manifestation will you choose? Hello, 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 and happy Friday. Welcome to the Manifest on Purpose Mindset Show, conversation number 95. I am your host, Kimberly. I am a mental alchemist. I help you transform your mind so that you can become the best version of yourself. Thank you so much for sharing your time and space with me today. Thank you for inviting your friends and family. And thank you for subscribing here and on the website at manifestonpurpose.net. The God in me loves the God in you. You know, I must admit, I have a problem with the word manifestation. Not with the word itself, but in the many ways the word is perceived. This word, manifestation, became important to me when the law of attraction found me. Yep, you heard me correctly. The law of attraction found me. I knew absolutely nothing about the law of attraction and quite frankly had no interest in it at all when my life coach instructor suggested it as a niche. I chose relationships instead. During a coaching session with a client, I found myself explaining the law of attraction. The topic I thought I knew nothing about rolled off my tongue. Even more surprisingly, I explained it clearly and felt like an expert on the matter. I took this occurrence as divine intervention. I decided to research and dig into the topic more thoroughly. The law of attraction had gained traction due to the Rhonda Barnes popular book, The Secret. I began to hear people over time stop using the term, the law of attraction, and I began to hear the word manifestation more in addition to variations of the words such as its root word, manifest, or the action word, manifesting. The word manifestation itself is not a new word, but somehow it is now strongly related to what some call the new age concept of the law of attraction and many other concepts of creating reality. My observation of the way this word is used is that some people look at this new age connection and perceive manifestation as a mystery, woo woo spiritual, religious, miraculous, or just plain spooky. However, when you break down the word manifestation by the definition, it simply means the physical proof or evidence of something. In the case of your personal creation, it is the proof or the physical evidence of your desires. Simply put, having what you want in your physical plane of reality, being able to experience what you have wanted through your five senses. With that being said, manifestation not only happens with your desires, an apple seed manifests in an apple tree. And the apple tree is a manifestation of the apple seed itself. However, the important thing to note here is there is a process that is involved. For the seed to get to full manifestation as a tree, some things have to happen in between. One reason that I bring that up is to help you understand there is a distinct difference between manifestation and the process that gets you there. Now, I'll talk to you more about those processes that lead to manifestation. There are many paths, but only one destination. 
What really intrigued me about the law of attraction was the fact that there are so many other practices that are very similar to it. I explore many of these practices to determine what the commonality is in all of them. Amongst those practices is faith. I found faith long before the law of attraction found me. In fact, after learning more about the law of attraction, it seemed a lot like faith to me. This led me to check out some of the other practices. Magic was another one that was very interesting to me also. I enjoy most the ritual. What I dislike most about magic was the stigma that came along with it. Although there weren't many differences between ritual magic or faith, many people see it in a negative manner, probably due to the media or some other form of program. Quantum physics is probably one of the hardest of the processes to understand because it deals with creation through the study of matter and energy at the most fundamental level. It describes the behavior of particles, atoms, electrons, protons, and so on. Another process that you may have even tried yourself before is setting and achieving goals. I think most people are more familiar with this way and more receptive to it because it falls within the societal norms. What I found during exploration is that all of these practices have one common denominator. It requires you to use the power of your mind. It does not matter what process you choose to manifest because mind is ultimately the determining factor. Stay tuned for the rest of the series to hear more about this. Monday's topic is Stop trying to manifest. I'm so glad that the law of attraction found me. It helped me clear up the misconceptions I had prior to it. It also helped me clear up the misconceptions of manifestation. Still for some, manifestation is a mysterious process. This is thanks mainly to being labeled or connected with some of the processes of creation. Let's set the record straight. Manifestation is not the journey of the seed to maturity. It is the fruit of the seed. The process is something entirely different. There are many processes you can use to create reality. Some may be easier to understand, or some may have stigma attached to it that you don't want to connect yourself with. But what it all boils down to is that you can create for yourself through using the common denominator of all of these practices, mind. There are many paths on this journey, but only one destination. Which one will you choose? I love you to life. This is how you manifest on purpose. Let's prepare for meditation. If you are driving, please don't attempt this now. Please download it and save it for later. If you are not driving, now is your time. Please find your sacred space, the space that is comfortable for you, distraction free and safe, the space in which you can relax and focus on your breathing. Enjoy your meditation.